I'm here today playing with my friend Dave, who is my guest star in this uh, battle report. Um, this is mission number four for Gustav and Company. They stumble upon a recently ransacked town, and uh, they don't know why nobody is living in it. Um, there's things smoldering and, and smoking, and the wall's been destroyed. When they get inside, they still see food on the tables and everything inside the homes. Uh, they still don't know why um, everybody left in such a hurry. Uh, but they also find out that this town was built... I won the roll off, and Maria is hiding behind this statue right here of Ishtar. She prays and earns us a victory point. The uh, dragon ogre, yep. dragon ogre, moves and runs from those ruins around this building and gets a little better position in the field. All right, our man Hank saw this um, dragon ogre getting too close to Presh. He runs in, makes a six-inch assault, uh, and hits three times. The dragon ogre saved, saved it once. But then Hank ended up doing three damage and knockdown to him because he rolled a 10 and then uh, eight, I believe. Uh, seven on the crushing chart. Unfortunately, the Dragon Ogre was too much to handle for uh, poor Hank and he did three unsaved wounds to Hank by also rolling a 10 on one of his wounds. And Hank is deceased now for the time being. Uh, luckily, out of the six wounds on this Dragon Ogre, he lost three of them due to Hank. The Chaos Warrior ran from that tower over to the objective, closing the gap between him and Fresh. Aaron moves over, and uh, she's not able to take aim because she had to move, but she shoots at the Dragon Ogre, dealing one damage and no other effect. Dave moves his Fire Wizard down to the objective. Fresh sends one of the Drunkards out to go loot that objective. The Ice Wizard takes this uh, opportunity to shoot and kill the poor drunkard. Oswald takes his chances and runs around this health in order to loot. Unfortunately, he's dangerously close to the Dragon Ogre, but the Dragon Ogre is knocked down currently. With all of Dave's activations um, already having been uh, performed, uh, I got to do all the rest of mine now. Preshlam sent this poor drunk with the pumpkins uh, near the Chaos... Uh, uh, warrior. He did not assault, he was just nearby so she could reroll a wound. And then she jumped out of these ruins and assaulted him. She dealt one wound to him and minus two dexterity. Uh, luckily, he did nothing to her, so that was the best of that's the best that she possibly could have gotten. And then also, Gustav moved around this building and he looted it and got a victory point. So This is the beginning of turn number two. I have lost Hank and one of my drunkards. So uh, I get to go first. I am terrified of where this Chaos Warrior was, so I have Aaron go up and uh, aim and shoot him. He was already had his dexterity damaged by Presh, so it made it very easy. Luckily I rolled uh, two wounds on him and one of them was a critical, so he was dealt three wounds and that's all he had left. The Dragon Ogre has to sacrifice his movement to get up next to the building. And he runs over here to keep us from praying, to looting. Oswald, being the nice guy he is, um, is worried about uh, Preshlam's uh, safety because there's a freaking dragon ogre right there. So he casts Shroud on her uh, with a uh, smoke potion. And then he puts up this energy barrier that he has discovered, he's, he's found somewhere. And uh, so that he can't be shot at or anything over it. The Water Mage. Uh, fired down icicles at the poor drunkard next to Presh, and he was murdered. Maria prays at the altar of Ishtar and gains us a victory point. And that was followed immediately by the fire mage praying at this altar of Ishtar, giving him a victory point. Gustav looted over here and got us a victory point. Uh, Preshlam 
uh, saw what this dragon ogre did to Hank, and she took off running, and is hiding behind Oswald's barrier. Top of turn three, I've still lost three people to his one person, so I get to go first. I move Preshlam over to the loot pile, and she loots, and she gets us a victory point. The dragon ogre comes over and loots. Maria prays at this altar, and then immediately the fire wizard uh, prays at this altar. Gustav loots this next, and he scores us another victory point. The water wizard realizes that he can just barely see past that barrier there and hit Presh, and both of his shots fail because of her high dexterity. Oswald is the last person to activate. Apparently his potions are empty because he tries to put a smoke bomb on Presh and fails, and tries to get that force field working again, and it fails. This is the top of turn four. I have still lost more people. Um, Dave has only lost one. And uh, Oswald decides that it is not worth taking these wounds, and he is, or possibly taking wounds, and he runs around the corner. The dragon ogre prays again, and gets another victory point. Presh decides to loot and gains another victory point. The fire mage takes two shots, uh, fireballs at Presh and misses both. Maria prays and gains us another victory point. Ice Wizard took more shots, um, shards of ice rained down on Presh, and wounded her arm doing minus two fighting skill and dealing a wound to her. Gustav continues to loot and gains us another victory point, and uh, Dave was crippled with some pretty terrible rolling, and uh, other than that, but also we were talking about this is actually the new model curse for him. Whenever you have three new models, they never do well. Uh, four new models. So he just painted this guy, and this guy, and that guy, and as well as the Chaos uh, Warrior. So it's, um, I rolled a ton of criticals on the wound chart. I mean, three damage to a monster in one turn is nuts. But, uh, Anyway, overall, uh, this is a pretty good, I mean, Hank died, um, and my minions died, but Presh is the only one that actually got wounded, so this was not a bad campaign game for me at all, and uh, we were able to uh, survive, so that's actually good, because pretty much everybody's on their last insanity. Um, Gustav's at two, Maria's at two, Oswald's at two, and uh, yeah, uh, Hank is now at two, Aaron is at one, and Preshlin's at one. So, um, they're, they're getting uh, slowly worn down uh, uh, mentally by this realm.